Kira and welcome to Kiwi Film Immigration Services. We are with another video with another tip. Today I'm sitting outside my house on a crisp autumn evening in Wellington. And today we are going to look at the changes Immigration New Zealand has introduced with respect to the region and skill shortage lusts. So the knowledge of these changes will guide you in selecting the right pathway or selecting the right course when you come to study in New Zealand. There has been some changes that has been announced by Immigration New Zealand and that they are going to be effective from the 27th of May. These are changes to the long-term skill shortage list and the essential skills list has been, immediate skill shortage list has been, replaced with a regional skill shortage list and about 15 regions within New Zealand have been included in that. And there are uh, lots of skills that are needed in the workforce in New Zealand in those regions. Let's take an example. If you have decided to, let's say, study teaching in New Zealand or for that matter, um, become an aged care nurse. That would be a very ideal choice because both of these professions have been included in the long-term skill shortage list. Often you decide a course depending on your interest, your ability to learn and the finance that is available to you when you choose to study overseas. So what does that mean to you if you come to study for that particular skill in New Zealand? It would mean that gaining employment after you finish study would be way easier for you because it's already in the skill shortage. A labor market test does not have to be conducted for you to offer a job for any employer. Therefore, the tip of the week is to have a look at these lists and they are available in the immigration website and they will be in effect from the 27th of May before you choose what course, what graduate diploma, what degree you're going to choose in order to study in New Zealand. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel so that you get updates on any videos that we might be uploading. And do leave us a comment and feel free to email me and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you.